when I think as the Flaming Lips, I mean, we've always done slightly, you know, absurd, you know, performances and stuff, you know, um, where we have, you know, audience, uh, people in the audience dress up in costumes and come on stage and we've done uh, boombox concerts and, Mm -hmm. you know, so we, we delved into this area without so much being at stake. Mm -hmm. But on that very first day, that first day that we went into lockdown, I made a little cartoon that I drew myself where like the Flaming Lips in 2019, you know, every, I'm the only one in a space bubble, I'm on stage and I'm the only one in a space bubble. That's, you know, the Flaming Lips in 2019. And then the Flaming Lips in 2020, I'm in a space bubble, but so is everybody else. The the talent uh, booker guy from, the Stephen Colbert uh, the Late Show, you know, got a hold of me and said, you know, what you guys want to do, uh, you know, we didn't know what they were called then, but one of these, you know, play at home sort of uh, performance things, you know. And um, I said, yeah, but I want to do it like this cartoon. And he had seen the cartoon. He said, yeah, I, I think we could try to do that, you know. And so this was at the very beginning of this whole thing. And, you know, these space bubbles, a lot of them, you know, they come from China, so, you know, there, there was nothing you could get, really, from China, you know, quickly, or if, if at all, you know, so, you know, part of us even then thought, well, this is kind of a long shot, but let's, let's see what we can do, and, and they helped me, I think they got, like, five or six of them, and then between eBay and people that I knew, we, we were able to get, I forget how many I had, you know, we have a bunch of them that are old, and you know, in our storage and stuff. So I probably had seven or eight, and then we probably got, you know, another, you know, uh, five or six just off of eBay. And ended up, you know, doing the Stephen Colbert show with the, with a pretty big audience. I think it ended up, ended up being about 19 or 20 people. We had to get these space bubbles made, you know. We, did, we had some, but we didn't have very many, so we had a we had hundred of them made. And we found a, a, you know, Chinese factory that would make them you know, and then we thought, well, that's probably, this is all going to be over. I, I mean, even when we, um, you know, did the, the video performance, you know, we we shot it here in Oklahoma City in the middle of May. And, you know, we, we all said, well, this isn't going to air till June, and maybe this will all be over by June. I mean, that's still how optimistic we all were, even back then. You know, you're, you're doing this thing that may not really happen. You're investing work and money and time and all this stuff into something that may not really happen, but, you know, the other side of it is if, you know, if if all this is for nothing, it's because the virus is no longer here, and that would be great, as opposed to being for nothing, really, you know, it would be like, well, we're ready, if the virus kept going, we'll be ready, and if it stops, uh, we'll be glad, you know, so in that way, it's, I feel like we don't have anything to lose, 